Yes, yes, guys, welcome back to another video. Mbappe, the Premier League, seriously. And Cancelo looks like he's on the way to Barcelona. Loads of stuff to get into. As always, guys, if you're not subscribed, 65% of people not subscribed, make sure you subscribe and hit that like button. Let's get straight into it with PSG. France striker Kylian Mbappe has told Chelsea he will be open to joining them on a one-year deal if he can move to Real Madrid on a free transfer next summer. This Mbappe thing, you know, it's, it's it's wild, isn't it? You know what I'm saying? Is he actually going to join Chelsea? Can he join Chelsea on a one-year deal? How, what would that look like? It, would it be a loan? Like, why would PSG loan Mbappe to Chelsea for one year only to lose him on a free? You know, what, if they did loan him, what would the loan fee be? Are Chelsea going to buy him and then sell him? Or, 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 or what's going to happen? I don't really get it. Like, it's, it's such a mess. Um, PSG in the mud. Mbappe technically could be in the mud here as well because obviously he don't want to be at PSG and... He might end up being forced there. So, I just think this is a complete and utter mess, guys, to be honest with you. And I don't know what's going to happen. But Mbappe in the Premier League, that could be pretty sick. Uh, Manchester United wants Southampton's Belgian midfielder Romeo Lavia after Liverpool had a bid rejected. Uh, Manchester United signing of Atalanta 20-year-old Denmark striker Rasmus Hoyland could be delayed until this weekend after he arrived in Manchester later than planned on Tuesday. So, United obviously getting the deal done with uh, Hoyland. He's in Manchester. That's going to be announced soon. And it looks like they might want to get Lavia. Now, of course, they do already have Casemiro, but Casemiro is in his 30s, so they do need to think about a potential replacement. And, of course, Lavia is very young, and that could actually be a good move for Man United and Lavia, I think. But I still think Liverpool are going to go in for Lavia, and I still think Liverpool will get this deal across the line. I think they're, they're not too far away, I don't think. That, although there are rumours that apparently Southampton wants £60 million, which I don't, it's not going to happen. I think he's going to go Liverpool. But let me know your thoughts in the comments. Where do you think Lavia is going to end up? Uh, England striker Harry Kane could give up a large part of his Tottenham salary to help push a move through to Bayern Munich. Uh, this is an incredible story that's now coming out on the Kane thing. There are rumours now suggesting that Harry Kane will be prepared to pay £20 million to buy himself out of his contract at Tottenham to help push a move through to Bayern Munich. This, this is going to get messy now. This is going to get messy. Tottenham just need to get this deal done. You know, what's an extra 10 million quid if it's going to drag out and make the thing messy? Get him out and get new players in. This is not good for Tottenham. It's not good for the manager. And it's not good for Kane, you know. So I think Tottenham are making a mistake here, guys. Uh, Tottenham have agreed personal terms with Wolfsburg's 22-year-old defender, Mickey van der Ven. But that's been agreed for like two months. So I'm not reading too much into that until they actually put a bid in and gets accepted. Tottenham are moving mad. Uh, they're also looking to finalise the sale of uh, Emil Heuberg to Atletico Madrid, who value him at £30 million. That's a, that's a story that's been going on for about a month. I remember when I first started these videos, we were talking about Heuberg to Atletico Madrid then. So I have no idea why that deal has still not crossed the line. Bizarre. Uh, Inter Milan are interested in Arsenal's 24-year-old Japan defender, uh, Tommy Asu. That's from Gazeta dello Sport. Yeah, I remember when he got absolutely roasted. Uh, against Manchester City at the Emirates. Yeah, cheers, Tommy Asu. Uh, Barcelona are in talks with Manchester City over a move for 29-year-old Portugal defender Yao Cancelo. Okay, so Cancelo rumouredly agreed personal terms with Barcelona. Manchester City don't want to keep Yao Cancelo. That's from Jack Gaunt. So we know that City don't want him. And obviously Cancelo to Barcelona could be a thing. We know Barcelona have Cancelo high on their priority list. And I think Cancelo would do well there. The question mark now is, is it going to be a loan deal? Or is it going to be a sale? Barcelona clearly, as we all know, have financial problems. Are they going to be able to get enough cash together to be able to make a permanent transfer for Cancelo? Or is it going to be a loan deal? I, I think it's probably going to be a loan. You know, I don't see Barcelona stumping up any cash, the skin. So I would imagine that this is going to be a loan transfer, which it gets him out of the club, but it just kicks the can down the road. So... You know, we do need a permanent solution at some point. Uh, Man United have opened talks with Real Sociedad over 26-year-old Netherlands midfielder Donny van der Beek, who would help fund a move for Fiorentina's Morocco midfielder Sofian Amarabat. That's on the Daily Mail. Donny van der Beek, the £18 million man that Man United signed for £40 million. But yeah, it's not really worked out that way, has it? Um, he's absolutely flopped in England, and now it looks like they're going to recoup some of the money that they spent and get Sofian Amrabat, who looks a promising player, looks a good player, so... I think that'd be a good signing for Man United. Apparently, he really wants to go there. So, yeah, go and get him. Uh, Chelsea face competition for Brighton's 21-year Ecuador uh, midfielder, Moises Caicedo. An unidentified club has made a bid higher than Chelsea's £80 million. Uh, Chelsea will make an improved offer for Caicedo, who is valued at £100 million by Brighton. Okay, let's talk about this then, guys. So, 
Apparently, an unidentified club has bid higher than 80 million for Caicedo, and no one knows who the club is. Even the player apparently doesn't know that. Are we honestly saying, genuinely, that a club has bid for Caicedo and the player doesn't know what that club is? Are we honestly saying that a club has managed to get over £80 million together, got it through the finance department, got the, got the OK from the manager, got the OK from the CEO, got the OK from the owner, has put a bid into Brighton, and they've had absolutely no contact with Caicedo? Are we honestly believing that? I don't believe that to be the case. So I believe that Caicedo probably does know what club it is, and he's probably said, I will go there if you can get the deal across the line. Otherwise, he would have said, no, I'm not going to join your club, so the club wouldn't have put the bid in. So the question is, who is this club? Could it be Manchester City? Well, yes, it could be Manchester City, but I don't see it. I don't see it personally. I, I'd like Caicedo at City. I think it'd be a good signing, but me personally, I do not see City being this unidentified club. Um, could it be Liverpool? Possibly, but, but why would they be unidentified? Why would they unidentify themselves? You know, they're bidding for Lavia. What, why would they all of a sudden be like, oh, we'll bid for him, but we don't want anyone to know we're bidding for him? Makes no sense. Would it be Arsenal? Again, possibly, but why would they be unidentified? United, again, it makes no sense to me. So I would imagine it's probably a Saudi club, I reckon, because I just don't I don't get why any club would bid for him and just not identify them. So it makes no sense to me. So let me know your thoughts on this one. It's a mystery. It's like a game of Cluedo again. Uh, Aston Villa want Leeds United, 24-year-old USA midfielder Tyler Adams and are willing to meet his 25 million euro release. Uh, re release course that's a good price for Tyler Adams good price so I'm not surprised there are some big clubs uh, looking at him James Ward-Prowse um, is basically done he's, he's not going West Ham and West Ham are looking at alternatives I think that's a good deal I don't really like James Ward-Prowse um, and I think £30 million pound rejected which is a more than reasonable fee yeah move on uh, Alan Lasser will pay £13 million quid for Clement Longley who is also wanted by Tottenham yeah but a lot of Tottenham fans don't want Longley at the football club so um, if you know, he's a cheap option, but if you don't want him, don't get him. Uh, Luton have agreed a £2.5 million pound plus add-ons deal to sign Blackburn's Belgian goalkeeper, Thomas Kaminski. Okay. Oh, yeah. Have you seen this one, guys? Only a year after buying Skamaka, West Ham are now going to sell Skamaka to Inter Milan. It's going to be around the 20 to £25 million pound mark, so West Ham are going to lose some money on this. That's why you don't penny pinch. You go and get proper strikers who you know you can depend on, ideally that's played in the Premier League. Um... But yeah, West Ham with a penny pinch in and it's bit them in the ass again. Uh, Willian has received an offer from Saudi Arabian club Al-Shabaab two weeks after agreeing a one-year contract with Fulham. That's from The Athletic. Okay. Uh, Bournemouth are in advanced talks and are willing to set uh, and are set to pick Wolves to the £25 million pound signing of English midfielder Alex Scott in quite a lot of demand, isn't he? In high demand, Alex Scott. There's a lot of clubs that are interested in him and I think it's probably due to the fact that £25 million, people might be going, that's quite expensive. But if this guy is semi-decent, you'll be doubling your money in a couple of years. So I can completely understand why clubs are signing or wanting to sign Alex Scott. Um, so yeah, makes complete sense to me. Uh, Nottingham Forest and West Ham are interested in PSG's 21-year-old forward, Hugo Ekitike. Um, okay, never heard of him. And finally, Galatasaray is still interested in signing Manchester United's 30-year-old Brazil midfielder, Fred, this summer. That's on the Daily Mail. Uh, a lot of the back pages today about... Gavardio Peps, £78 million pound man. Coop Moon. Uh, Coop Moon says, uh, Peps delight at Gavardio's swoop there underneath my face. Um, a little bit of uh, rugby action there. And then Peps at Gavardio. That's a good one, isn't it? Gavardio. Nice. Okay, well, there we go, guys. Hopefully, you've enjoyed this one. As always, guys. Please subscribe to the channel. 65% of people who watch my videos are not subscribed. Hit the like button as well. That massively helps support the channel. And get your comments in down below. Help boost the algorithm. Let's make it to 4K. And people, I'll catch you tomorrow, man. See you later.